attorney Larissa Davis and I handle immigration matters and litigation matters. So if you are watching this and you have been a victim of a crime in the United States and you are on a non-immigrant status or you don't have status, you could be eligible for a green card through what's called the U visa um, and it is for victims of crime. So you have to be in the United States and you have to be the victim of specific types of crime. I'm gonna go through the list on USCIS of those types of crime, and I wanna let you know my experience has been with individuals who have been anywhere from a witness to a shooting to um, victims of, of labor type crimes where um, they had an employer who was underpaying them or not paying them or otherwise mistreating them. And so these are different kinds, kinds of crime, one with violence, one with um, money and, and other kinds of abuses, and they were eligible to be certified for the U visa. Um, before I list the crimes, I also wanna tell you a little bit about the process. So when you apply for the U visa, the first thing we have to do is get a certification from the law enforcement and it has to be particular to where the crime was committed. And then once we get that certification, I send it in and we get the packet, we get all the evidence and information that's required, sent in, and then we um, go through the steps. Depending on what type of uh, crime you were a victim of, will um, dictate what kind of steps that we take. For example, if it's something with an employer who's been abusing you by not paying you and otherwise mistreating you, uh, then we would have to go through some steps through the Department of Labor. If it's dealing with, say, a shooting at a gas station or um, some other type of, uh, of violence like that, then we would get um, some other professionals involved. So that could be um, somebody doing a, a psychological exam. So there's different elements involved depending on the crime that you were a part of. So while it is a terrible situation to be involved as a victim of a crime or a witness of a crime, um, there is some silver lining in that you could be eligible for the U visa. So the qualifying criminal activities, there's quite a lot. So here they are, abduction, abusive sexual contact, blackmail, domestic violence, extortion, false imprisonment, female genital mutilation, felonious assault, fraud in foreign labor contracting, hostage, incest, involuntary servitude, kidnapping, manslaughter, murder, obstruction of justice, peonage, perjury, prostitution, rape, sexual assault, sexual exploitation, slave trade, stalking, torture, trafficking, witness tampering, unlawful criminal restraint, and some other related crimes. Now again, these are the crimes listed under um, the USCIS website, but there are also parts that um, intertwine with whatever the, the crime is as written in a police report. So yes, you do have to report it. You have to get the police involved. Even if you don't have status in the United States, that's okay. You can still apply for this if you're a victim of a crime and there's no application fee. I've represented clients in um, different scenarios including some of these that I've just gone over. If you've been a victim of a crime in the United States and you wanna talk about your options under the U visa, give me a call at 601-724-9255. I'm also adding my email below and we can talk about it. Um, if you do decide to contact me, your information is privileged. Um, that means attorney-client privilege, it, I'm not talking about it with anyone else. So if you're concerned about your employer finding out about it or an abuser or somebody that's um, otherwise mistreated you or hurt you in a way that, um, that makes you fearful of them, just know that um, everything is confidential when we do talk. And again, my number is 601-724-9255.